So those were a few of shots of me shooting Hornady's Critical Defense. This is chambered in 357 Magnum. It is a 125 grain bullet which features Hornady's FTX bullet. For those of you that don't know, the FTX bullet you can see right there is that red piece of plastic or rubber, I'm not sure what it's made out of, that sits in the hollow point cavity of the bullet which makes sure that the bullet does not get clawed with denim or anything when it penetrates and ensures better chances of expansion. So I'm really excited about shooting this round. I've seen a lot of great videos on it and was really excited to get it out to the range. I shot it today, uh, chronoed it. The average came in at 1,286 feet per second. Hornady advertises a velocity here on the box that is 1,500 feet per second at the muzzle. I believe they are using a 4-inch barrel. Uh, I think it's a vented barrel they use as well. So with the SP-101 that I shot it out of today, it has a 2.25 inch barrel. So you're losing roughly about 200 feet per second out of the shorter barrel. Uh, not too, too bad, all things considered. So let's get this out to the range, shoot it through some ballistics gel, and see how it performs. Okay, so as you saw there, uh, we fully penetrated the block uh, for full 16 inches. I'm starting to think that I might need to get two blocks if I'm going to do some more 357 Magnum testing. But let's take a look here. Uh, this wound track isn't what I expected. It's, it's not very big, and the block came out cloudy today. I think it's getting towards the end of its life. I'll probably only have one or two more tests. It is still calibrating along the same lines there. But as you can see, when I filter it, you're starting to see a little bit of debris and stuff in there that gets through the mesh um, colander I've been using. So you can take a look on the bottom here. And what you're seeing there, I believe that's the flex tip. When I cut into it, I'll let you know 100%. That is just about at the three and a half inch mark. So if you come up here, we can take a look while my camera focuses. Not much to really say here that wound cavity is only about maybe a quarter of an inch third of an inch, comes down, trails down a little bit here, exit is, and then went into the milk jugs. So let's cut into it and let's take a look. Okay, so there's the, the cross section here, so that's the block, you can see what it looks like. This measures just about five and an eighth inch, you can see again, really hot round because it's burning through some of the gel, I've been cutting these out, the ballistics gel, but that's kind of where it looks like, both sides there. I'm going to zoom out here, take a look here, here is the entrance, and I just cut it in half for you to see. So here would be the right side, you can see not a, not a lot going on here, I mean it's cutting, a lot of denim in there, a lot of burning. Yeah. Here's the opposite side, so the bullet enters here. Again, you can kind of see what's going on, I, I mean, when you see the bullet, feel like more should be happening and, and the other tests I've seen I, I feel like there should be a better permanent cavity in here um, but I guess it is what it is okay so here's the bullet um, which looks awesome I love the way these look so let's get a weight here so I'm getting 124.8 grains with the flex tip Okay, so the widest point of expansion was 0.516. I got an average of 0.491. Okay, so this was Hornady's Critical Defense for 357 Magnum. Overall, meh, again. I, I really thought there would be more looking at this bullet and looking at the wound track. I just feel like the two just don't coincide with each other for some reason. I think this is one that I'm going to have to go back and revisit at a later date because the results I'm getting and the results I've seen I feel like are very different. I don't know if it's because this block has been melted now I think seven times. I think I probably have one or two more uh, times left in it. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a new block and I'll, this will probably be the first thing I run through it. So again, not real impressed with it, but I don't know if my results are very typical here. Thanks again for watching. Any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, comment and tell me why and please subscribe because I have lots more videos coming in the future.